we've been driving our way through Idaho and this is our first time in this state. We're kind of just passing through to get to Wyoming, but it's surprising to both of us how beautiful Idaho is. And this state is just known for their potatoes. So I can't wait to see like Wyoming and Montana. So we spent last night and a couple nights before that in the Caribou National Forest. And that's the site that we're leaving now through probably one of the most beautiful drives that we've ever been on. You can see the Swan River and we're about to drive through Swan Valley. And it's just been kind of totally taking us by surprise. We set out towards the Teton mountain range, not realizing what we were getting ourselves into. The route we chose is called Teton Pass, which as it turns out is a five mile stretch of very steep grades. First up and then back down. After a few miles of very steep uphill driving, we decided to pull over to give our bus a little break. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's intense, uh, dude. We la we, it lasted a long time though. I think we're almost at the top. Really? Uh, well, maybe. I hope so. But it's really steep. It's this crazy mountainous road with 10% inclines. The most we've ever done before is 8% which I thought was a lot. I think the snow and the cold weather is actually helping us today. I usually hate it and I usually don't like to drive in it, but we've been able to drive a lot further than we usually can on these steep roads. I know we'll have to stop a few more times, but we're already making really good time. All right, I think the one engine light's on. All right, we've got 10 amp and then a 15 amp. Thank you. So this is an issue we've uh, thought we were past. If you remember when we had our fuel pump issues, that morning our starter fuse kept blowing. Yep, it blew again. It's gotta be a short, right? Yeah. And it's because we had a short circuit in our system. We usually fix it by going up under there and trying to like re-insulate and just trying to find any of the bad portions. I don't really want to do that here on this mountainside, so I think we're just gonna put in a new um, fuse and try to start the bus and at least get off this pass because I don't want to do any work while on a 10% incline. All right, should I try it? Yeah, let's try it. And it hasn't popped. I feel like I would have heard it. I guess it sounds good so far. Let's get going, I guess. Okay, yeah. I always hate having to deal with these like mechanical issues in any capacity, but I have a fresh perspective now that Jimmy's back. It's just so much better dealing with this with two people instead of just being by myself. So that's another. Another schoolie. Schoolie, really? Yeah, another schoolie. Aw. Taylor two spinnies. Oh, no way. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's like they caught us with our pants down. <laughs> yeah, they really did. Great, Jimmy. Thanks, Matt. Oh, it smells really bad. Yeah, dude. It's not great. I don't know if we should pull over here. I'm pretty sure our brakes are like. Yeah, they smell really bad. Oh, crap. It smells worse than it's ever smelled, like by a lot. Oh my god. You see that smoke? Yeah, I see it. I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. I'll stay in here to catch it. It's like smoke coming up. Yeah, it's a lot of smoke. Okay. I, I don't think anything's on fire, but like, you know. Okay. Stuff I got a little hot. Yeah, it smells really bad. Yeah, it's not great. I guess we just gotta wait and cool, like, cool way down. Yeah. I think we have at least one more mile to go, which is not great. Yeah. yeah. I was really nervous in the back, but I don't think, I didn't really understand how bad it was until we stopped and I saw the amount of smoke coming off the brakes. Like, I knew that this was the most intense drive we've done in the bus, but I didn't realize just by how much. This is absolutely crazy. Oh, there's Taylor Two Smitties. Really? Passing us again. <laughs> They're doing just fine. Yeah, they are. I'm proud of them. Jimmy was telling me that 
like the brakes were getting less and less responsive and it was getting to the point where he was worried that they weren't going to be able to make us stop and he was getting like prepared to throw on our emergency brake as an emergency measure so we've never had to do that before um so i'm really glad that jimmy's driving for this but i'm sorry to put you through it so while we're waiting we figured we might as well eat lunch so i made some tofu wraps and we've just been sitting here waiting for the brakes to cool down all right you ready yep ready So we stayed here for over an hour, just making sure that the brakes had plenty of time to cool. And now we're gonna try to keep going. I think we're about halfway done with the downhill stretch. It's five miles of 10% downhill grade. So um, yeah, it's been rough. I'm honestly pretty nervous, but it'll be okay. <laughs> will it? It will. How do you know? It, How do you I, know that? It, it has to be okay. <laughs> it can't not be. <laughs> Real quick, we want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform for lifelong learners and creatives. It has thousands of courses available on a wide range of topics, with new courses being added every week. One of my favorite courses on Skillshare that I recently completed is How to Be Happier, Stoicism Masterclass by Ali Abdal. I learned about the five principles of Stoicism and how to apply them in everyday life for a range of situations like handling criticism, and dealing with negative emotions. Finding and taking a course on Skillshare is super easy. You can search from a broad range of topics, browse through their course catalog, and start taking a course whenever you're ready. And once you've selected a course, you can even access notes that other Skillshare members have shared. Also, the first 1,000 people to click the link in our description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. I'm really relieved that we made it out of that. There has to have been a better route we could have taken, but I don't know what it would have been. Oh, they're 100% wise. All right, well, today just keeps getting better. Our water pump stopped working. So we're really hoping it's just a clog because I really don't want to deal with cracked pipes right now. And we've just been kind of troubleshooting, but I'm hoping that this is it so that we can have some drinking water and relax and enjoy the beautiful place that we're in. So far it's beautiful, just not relaxing. Yeah, we're having kind of bad luck with it so far. Uh, but we did see a fox. It ran right in front of the bus where we're gonna camp for the next couple days. So that was pretty cool. The water pump thing, not my favorite. water pump fix did not go well. We're currently boiling water and drinking soda. We are 99% sure it's an issue with our water pump. We troubleshooted all of the lines. They all look good. I cannot find any leaks at all. We even took apart and disassembled the water pump to clean it out. The sediment filter was a little clogged. We cleaned it out, tested it afterwards, and still no luck. So, we bought a new water pump. We will be waiting five days for this water pump to get to us. So that's five days with no fresh water from our sink or shower. Yeah. So we're gonna be pulling out of the drain on our fresh water tanks, having to boil water to get it sterile. I'm not excited about that. It feels like we're camping. All right, Jimmy, I'll give you three tries to guess the name of the town we're in. Moose. How'd you know that? I know, it, I know it doesn't look like it, but I did do research into <laughs> where we were going and how we were going to get here. So oh, okay. I know it doesn't look like it because all of this could have been avoided if we did not take the Teton Pass. <laughs> so yeah, I know where we are. <laughs> I thought I had him with that one. Oh yeah, because if we haven't mentioned it yet, I'm pretty sure that the reason the water pump broke is because we forgot to turn it off while we were driving. We have a small switch installed that's very easy to access, so... There was no excuse, but we forgot to turn it off, and I think it was on for a very long time and probably burned itself out, so. It's not a good day. 
This one little mountain just wipes us out. <laughs> it was a big mountain. It's literally okay, it was the Grand huge. Tetons. <laughs> yeah, it was a huge mountain, to be big. fair. I don't even know if I want to like tell anybody about this. It's just yeah. kind of embarrassing how bad this meal is. Yeah, this looks really sad. Yeah. But thank you. It's all beige. So our our wraps today are tofu, cheese, and ranch. And this is dinner. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be good. Mmm. <laughs> mm. The reason we're eating such a sad meal is a little bit because we're out of green food and then a little bit because we don't have running water so we don't want to do anything that creates dishes. So wraps are the easiest no cleanup meal. I, I think this is the first time I've ever like prepared food and then apologized for it. <laughs> I foresee some midnight snacks in our future. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have some pretzels tonight. Yeah. What a sad ending to a frustrating day. <laughs> Today was not a good day. It was not. At least we made it, but like, barely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am not happy with our water situation. I'm so glad that we have a water pump normally because this is a drastic change. I think we are getting into the swing of things. I think today's starting off to be a pretty good day. Uh, we actually ran into one of our friends that we met at the Pride event and then at Schoolie Palooza. And I think we're gonna go into town with her. store charges extra for grocery bags so that's the really convenient thing about just unloading directly from the cart into our refrigerator I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go hit up a local brewery so I think Chelsea's gonna head over there and we're gonna follow her That was really fun. It's been really fun to hang out with. I almost called her an old friend, but we only met her five months ago. <laughs> <laughs> we met her several states ago. But it's been fun to hang out with her because, you know, we've been preoccupied with like the bus issues coming down the Teton Pass, the water pump issues. <sighs> yeah, it's fun to forget about that and just connect with a friend. And I think we've got some really fun plans for tomorrow. Jimmy and I are going to go with our friend Chelsea and we're going to go see about kayaking today. And Jimmy has an interesting outfit picked out. <laughs> Can you tell what I'm planning on doing today? <laughs> are you lounging by the beach or are you going like snowshoeing? <laughs> it just depends on what hat you're looking at. <laughs> we're on our way to actually go kayaking, but there's a grocery store and we're getting really tired of boiling water. So we're gonna go pick up maybe a pack of water bottles. We gotta treat ourselves. <laughs> All right, so I got these two gallons. I don't know what Jimmy's gonna drink. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so we stopped by the visitor center. We got permits for our kayaks. And I think now we can start the surprisingly long drive to the lake where we're gonna kayak. Also, I think we're gonna ride with Chelsea on the way over there just to save on diesel. Off hey. Hey. 
I bet half of y'all didn't even know we had kayaks. Literally the last time we used these, I think was from my birthday last summer. So it's almost been a full year. I love the difference between those two times because that was just a state park, I think. And this like right here, what I'm looking at is, I don't know, let me just show you. <laughs> All right, well, the trees are kind of hiding the view right now, but I'm sure if I get closer to the water, it will look a lot better. That is what I'm talking about. You ready? I'm so ready. This is gonna be awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Feels good to be back in the seat. <laughs> You're like two feet short. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That's graceful, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh. Look better than me. I'm gonna go check out that rock. <laughs> okay. Don't sink. So if I'm the first one to land here, can I name it? I think so. I could climb up there. I don't want you to climb up there. I feel like I could make the jump. I believe you. <laughs> and I'm I'm okay with just not finding out for sure. Now I've claimed this rock, but if I get over there, I can claim that rock too. I'm pretty sure that those belong to the park, Jimmy. No, no, no. <laughs> that can't be right. Oh my gosh, yeah, how'd you do that from the kayak? There's no, I thought there was like land or something that you got on. I just stood straight up. I didn't Jimmy, that. that's, you got, you got the good phone in your pocket. It's all zipped up, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I am not very good at maneuvering and like fine. All right. Can you pull me in so I can get still? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna kind of all in. No, do, Jimmy, don't. I don't have like the grip you think I do. You're doing good. Oh my goodness. Jimmy, please. Oh my gosh. You scared me half to death. <laughs> that was so close. I made it though. I'm relieved that you're back in your kayak, and now I'm gonna keep a closer eye on you. <laughs> that actually worked really well. <laughs> I can't get over like the scenery behind you right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm borrowing a jacket. So we're still by the lake and Chelsea has a propane grill. So we're gonna grill out some burgers tonight. I think we're doing burgers and corn and maybe some potatoes. So Jimmy and I only have a stove and a microwave, so grilling burgers is like such a treat for us. So we're real excited. You look like a painter. Is this supposed to be like a palette plate like this? It's for, <laughs> well, they're like nosh plates, so not like full meal plates. And it's for a wine glass. Oh, oh that's cool. cool. I like my thumb technique too, though, yeah. so I got more control over it. <laughs> yeah. I think he wants the potatoes. <laughs> sure he does. Oh, he's in your kayak. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh! There's a platter of taters here. Those look good. They look like donut holes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, In a good like way. Ketchup for your taters? Yes, please. Yeah, that sounds good. It's been five days since we ordered the water pump, and we were just able to pick it up from the UPS store. So now we're about to install it. It's here. <laughs> this feels like Christmas. 
It's just a water pump, but like, it's so crucial for comfort. We literally had to wait five days for this. We have gone five days without uh, clean water. It is in this one, right? Ooh, it is. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make sure to capture that amazing tape job. <laughs> <laughs> You got really fast at the at the blue tape when we were building. You could like throw <laughs> it on. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little rusty now. So what if we reinstall this and it doesn't work? I like actually don't even want to think about that. It's yeah, that would be so fun. demoralizing. I think I got it ready. So for anyone curious, this is where we put all of our water pump stuff. We've got a water pump here, our accumulator tank here, and then our filters right here. It was kind of out of laziness, but also it's probably the best spot for it because it's just right inside of our closet so that it's really easy to access. I wish we could have gone longer without having to access it, but <laughs> you know, it's whatever. All right, so I guess I'll stay down here and you can flip it on and I'll tell you if it starts leaking. All right, sounds good. It's going. It's going. All right, you want to try it out? Yeah, from the sink? Yeah. All right. Let's see if it works. This sink has never been this messy before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. I like, don't want to use all the water. Look at that. I feel like the pressure is even better than before. Yeah, I think it is. Gosh, that's nice. All right, well, we got running water again after five days without it. I don't think I ever want to go that long without water. Me neither. I, it like started to feel dangerously close to camping, which camping's fine, but that's not what we're here to do. So. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but I think this is where we're gonna end it. Uh, we had other plans to go into the Tetons and explore some more, but just the issues we had coming down the Teton Pass kind of messed everything up. Yeah, come back next week when everything's gonna be smooth sailing, nothing's gonna go wrong, everything <laughs> will be great. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see you then, and thanks for watching. Bye.